So, what do the presentations you've seen today all have in common? Well, from my perspective, there was a person looking at a data set, making amazing new insights. Working with data isn't just something we do in research, it's also very important in our day-to-day -day lives. Just think back at how many times you have looked at COVID data over the past two years. You might have he also heard of something called big data. The problem with big data is that recently our data sets have become so massive that we can't just open a website and look at it, but we instead have to wait for hours and hours until we see anything. Now, the, you might have also guessed that if size is the problem, then why don't we just cut the data up into smaller pieces and then look at those pieces over time? And you would be exactly right. Research has shown that that approach works both effectively and efficiently. And you might have also guessed that in practice, doing that is a bit more difficult than it first seems, especially if we want to guarantee the same flexibility that we've seen in the presentations today. That flexibility is the focus of my research. The first research question I've addressed is, how do we actually split up the data in a way that if we look at it progressively over time, like we see in this picture here, we can see patterns that emerge in the end after one hour, already much earlier after 30 seconds so that we can actually save time. I won't spare you the details, but together with my co-authors, developed a modular algorithm that can be fit at every step to the needs of the person and the data set so that we can provide these useful chunks. After that, I've looked at how can we actually analyze data that's available over time and not at once? How can we reduce the error that we make there? And then I've looked at how can we visualize data that changes over time in a way that does not confuse people? So in the end, are we there yet? Can we analyze big data as flexibly as we obviously need to? Well, not quite. But I believe that my research sets the stepping stone for future work in that direction, so that in a couple of years' time, hopefully, I can come back to you and say that, indeed, we are there. Thank you.